yard line. Time running out for the coaching. High formation, the K set to the sideline, short side of the field. Hayden's back to throw. Sets, looking, looking, puts it in the air, deep in the end zone. McKay, touchdown, USC! When we first went into the I formation, I think I wrote a book called The Shifting T or something like that. And we, we, we want to line up in an I formation, then shift those backs straight, left, split, boom, and, and, and keep the defense guessing what the heck we're going to do. But then we would say, well, we have to run some plays from this thing. And uh, as I say, Willie was a t tailback, and we ran off tackle to the weak side. And I said, that's a good-looking play, good idea from Willie. And uh, then we just grew from it, and then we said, you know, we're better off staying in it than getting out of it. So then we started to devise uh, blocking schemes that would allow us to do that. And we found out that the tight end could send up on him, and we could run around there, and there became the famous 28 pitch. And uh, then it became known as a student body, right or left, but it was done because of the players that, 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 that could do what we had to do. And I, I remember uh, I was a very good friend of uh, Vince Lombardi's, and Vince came out to St. Seal to, to the banquet every year, and I'd meet him down in Anaheim. And Vince one year said, John, how many plays do you have? I said, Vince, we have seven plays. He said, I'm going to have to add something. I got five. Now, I tell that story only on these guys that have 250 plays or 500 plays. I said, well, how do you practice 250 plays? You, you can't even uh, practice five or six very much. And uh, in pro football, you've got a, a better chance to add them. And we just had an offensive coordinator who fired there after the first year. And he only had 400 offensive plays. And I told my wife, he'll get fired because there ain't no way you can pour it off of a play. But anyhow, Vince's statement to me is, you know, I said, I think I'll put in one. I said, well, we have a counter play that I think is pretty good out of the eye. He's down, he puts it on a napkin. Next year I see a, a kid Anderson tailback run that counter play. But uh, I think that's that's coaching is is knowing what you can you can get across to the players. If you give them all the stuff, the other, the, they don't have time. They've got to go to school. And uh, Vince, like he said, my guys don't have time. They got have to go out and dance it in Green Bay. So that's the way it is. Hayden takes the snap to pitch to Davis. Sweeping right at the five. He dies. He's in the end zone. Anthony Davis has scored again. I went to the two-point stance because when I was a uh, Senior at the University of Oregon, our quarterback graduated, Van Brocklin, and I was called on to call the plays in the audibles. And I couldn't in a three-point stance, which everybody used. And I used a two-point stance. I liked it. Uh, when we went into the I formation, people had used four guys in a Ryan, and I said, I don't want that. So we put the tail back up, and we put him up about five and a half, six yards. And then we learned, get him back. Get him back. So now they're about seven, seven yards, and they were comfortable, and they could see how the alignment was and where they more likely to run. And everybody says, call it run to daylight. Well, it's run to daylight, and you, when you know daylight's going to be someplace. And uh, so our tailback was seven, seven and a half yards deep, uh, two-point stance. Fullback still in a three-point stance and sat on the tailback's vision. And uh, it grew from there. and. It became the most popular formation in, in football. Everybody used it. Short side of the field uh, was was first started because of the defense that everybody played. Uh, they were playing rover defenses, uh, strong safety, always the wide side of the field. So we put our flanker into the short side of the field, and they'd still keep him over there. So that's too good for us. I remember going back to play Iowa. Sam was at fullback, and they had a little 158-pound skinny tail uh, halfback over there on the right side. Sam would run him out of bounds coming around there. 
the short side of the field. He was duck, ducking, getting out of bounds. And uh, I had a couple of friends. I said, we'll be ahead by 35 nothing at halftime. You guys can go on home from there. And they did. We, we were ahead 35 nothing. But running the ball into the sidelines was, was uh, dedicated to the proposition that there was an extra guy on the wide side of the field. And the corner had to be the forcer. And I'll tell you, a lot of corners don't want to force. They don't want to do a lot of things, but they don't want to come up there and say, well, you want to take Cunningham on? Whew, my Lord. <laughs>